Welcome to Ukenic. In this video, we're going to show you how to register a new battery on a BMW. So let's take a look at how to do that using the Ukenic scanner. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to maintenance on the home screen. And then click over here, BRT, battery registration. And you're going to select BMW. And then smart VIN will detect the correct uh, make model chassis. Okay, we'll press OK. Yes. And the scanner turns off the ignition for about 10 seconds and turns it back on. That allows it to communicate and read uh, the codes from the ECU, DME, and other control units. So the ignition is back on. Now when replacing the battery on a BMW, we strongly recommend using a battery that has the same uh, ampere hours the same uh, cold cranking amps and um, also is the same battery type so as what's already in the car so if there's a car if you have um, a 95 ampere hours battery 900 cold cranking amps AGM uh, battery type try to stay with that because what will happen and we'll see here in the next screen um, what uh, what will happen is that if you if you um, if you install a battery with different specs then you have to code it versus if you uh, install a battery that has the same spec all you have to do is register tell a car it's a new battery and that's that's all it's a lot simpler less complex um, but when you, you you have to change battery types and specs then you have to go, uh, go through a lot more so in this screen here as you see you go to special functions and then after that we go to register battery exchange now it is very important that that battery is fully charged because the dme is going to run some tests on that so uh, make sure you're starting with a fully charged battery or you're doing the registration and you might have issues down the road so here uh, display distance reading at last battery exchange register battery exchange so we'll press 2 for that and then here enter battery exchange sam capacity so this is the easiest thing you press one and we'll do that in a minute here but uh, other options are higher and lower capacity when you change the capacity um, and then next is change uh, battery type but if you're um i would say uh, within five percent of that original battery in there um, just doing the uh, battery um, registration this step one right here that should be enough but if you want to you can still go through the steps and changing other settings uh, but we strongly recommend staying as close as possible to the original battery that's uh, supposed to be in the car and then um, so, uh, it's asking you if there's a label on the battery we're gonna say no no there as well run some tests it's gonna record the mileage it's gonna, when we changed it the time press ok it's telling us that you should have a full charge battery and setting the time press yes okay and that's it as far as registering but if you want to do more and code you know you can go back in there and change all the different settings change battery capacity and um, battery type but uh, let's go back here really quick there's a lot more that you can do with the scanner uh, you can of course you know go to all the control units of the car read codes from it clear any codes that you want uh, you can do some act um, active tests or bidirectional testing um, where you can basically uh, control you know window switches motors uh, you know radiator fan um, transmission shifter anything that you want you can uh, basically control it from the scanner so you can do some testing and troubleshooting but that's all it's pretty simple straightforward Thank you for watching the mechanic where you can be the mechanic.